Hello everyone, and thank you for joining us. We are excited to bring you this overview on ETAP 22. So let's go ahead and get started. One of the most significant improvements in ETAP 22 is the addition of a new module, which is unbalanced short circuit. Unbalanced short circuit allows you to do a device duty calculation and evaluation for single phase, multi-phase AC and DC systems. With unbalanced short circuit, not only do you apply an unbalanced fault on an electrical system, but you're applying an unbalanced fault on an unsymmetrical system. These unbalanced faults can include shunt faults, line to ground faults, line to line to ground, as well as simultaneous faults. The unbalanced fault on unsymmetrical systems, especially line to ground, can be applied from phase A, phase B or phase C to ground, because each phase, based on the nature of unsymmetrical system, can be completely unbalanced. So let's see this unbalanced short circuit module very quickly in action. We can simply switch over to our unbalanced short circuit mode and run our simulation. And in this case, I'm running a simple device duty simulation. And we can see for a combination of a three phase as well as single phase system, we can see the individual A, B and C phase currents and angles, as well as the contribution from the downstream components. You can simply right click and place a fault and rerun the simulation, making it a very easy to use program, similar to the balanced short circuit module. You can pick any bus, whether it's three phase or single phase and perform this kind of calculation. In this case, you will see that there was no contribution from load two because this is a static load or not a constant power load. But we can see lump two is actually a combination of a constant Z and a constant power load. And therefore there is actually some contribution from this piece of uh, equipment. Inside the study case, you can choose between the AC modeling, DC modeling. You can also set up options for your pre-fault loading right before the fault inception. Select which buses are included for shunt faults. And of course, which buses are to be included for simultaneous faults. And ETAP using this unbalanced short circuit can allow you to include faults on not just transmission systems or industrial systems, but as well as low voltage networks such as renewable, airports, data centers, and so many more. Unbalanced short circuit, therefore, is the ultimate short circuit module that you would need for any type of system that is the most comprehensive in terms of AC and DC modeling within a single application. The standards that are supported by unbalanced short circuit include GOST Russian standard for AC systems, ANSI C37 also for AC systems, 60909 for AC systems, and IEC 61660, which is meant for DC systems. You can have, of course, the result visualization on the single line diagram, as well as the geospatial diagram, and the generator circuit breaker duty evaluation is also included per IEC 62271. In order to evaluate our DC short circuit, we can just simply run our DC scenario here, and you can see the short circuit simulation on the DC network, which is shown in blue, based on IEC 61660. And we can see the contribution, which is the forward current and the return current in our DC network, along with the phase uh, contribution values and the voltages as well. ETAP also provides the evaluation of the AC and DC short circuit using the alert view. And once again, similar to load flow or balance short circuit, you can see the critical and marginal alerts within this alert view. Simply double click on the component of your choice and ETAP will of course highlight and select and show you where that device is. And you can continue making improvements and dimensioning changes within your electrical system. ETAP 22 has thousands of new enhancements, features and capabilities. Thank you.